Hey everybody, um, before the vi actual video, I have to show you guys the new update that just came out. Talking about the pandas, and the bamboo, and a few fixes that actually have come out close to right about now. Um, pretty much it just says that pandas are now out along with new cat skins. And also, if you go to wherever you can find a panda, you can easily find bamboo. You can make, ah, uh, not stilts, um, uh, something that allows you to get up there and, uh, actually work on high buildings. If you fix bugs, you have new redesigns for cats. It's actually really cool, and I'm vi actually recording this just before your video separately um because this actually came out today is the 19th and the video was recorded on the first i believe so i am cutting this a little short i am making it so you guys can read it in case if you do not own the game this is again just so you guys can see i did get the update already we finally have pandas. I know I have a polar bear. It's going to be scary when they finally put in the grizzly or some kind of bear that's going to be your enemy. So hang on a sec. And we. So hold on to your butts in just a second. We are about to jump into the next video. So thank you and be right back. Hey, everybody. Um. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Minecraft. Um, because of the holiday season. I am actually making these ahead of time. This episode and the next one. The uh, one after these two should be a little something different. And as you know from the beginning of this video, we already had the 1.8.0 update for the panda and the bamboo. So we might have to do a little thing for that. Right now I just want to work on the... Uh, as you can tell, I'm, working, I'm recording the audio after, so sorry. Uh, I'm just going to be working right here on getting this giant lake bed down to bedrock. Reason being, it will be a little bit easier to know what I got here. And I I hate having to look at this constant layout of, oh, there's nothing here, there's nothing here. And because I still do need a little bit of cobblestone for projects, and this is, I think, before I learned about the conduit, Oh no, this is after the conduit. <coughs> As you remember in last episode, I went on my treasure hunt and... Or before last, I went on the treasure hunt. And I actually found a thing and I learned about the conduit. The conduit is actually a little thing. It might be in this video, but the conduit is this little thing... Think of like the beacon, but underwater. You have to be underwater for it to really work. And what happens is, it will make it so you can see underwater and breathe underwater and helps you mine faster underwater. Which is good because if you remember, my helmet has aqua affinity, which allows me to mine underwater a little faster. So it's very helpful. Um, the big thing I want to talk about in this episode just because I have to waste now 40 some minutes. What has gone going on in the world? I went on Netflix to goof around earlier and I saw this magician where the episode is uh, like stress and that kind of stuff and he went to a yoga class he went to two yoga class. The first yoga class was a yoga class for face yoga. I mean, it is, I watched a little bit of it. I went on YouTube and shit to look at other videos for face yoga. Excuse me. Face yoga. I've seen some dumb shit in my day. Hell, I've done some dumb shit in my day. I do not believe you should pay someone to make you do the shh face with making your face all tight. And then opening your eyes and everything really quick and a happy smile. I don't believe you should do that. And ooh, before I forget, if you look at the screen now, just underneath the water breathing, that little eye, that eye right there means that I am in proximity to the conduit. 
that conduit allows me to have all those perks I already told you about. The underwater breathing and all that shit. So, there's that. Now, back to what I was saying about people being stupid. Why on earth would people pay for this? Then, I get animals have some kind of energy that people like to be around. People like service animals, like dogs and cats. And cats help with sickness and all that stuff, along with dogs. And it's shown that it helps out a lot. What I don't get is... Why on God's green earth would you want to do yoga near an animal? In this YouTube, not in YouTube, in this Netflix special or show or series or whatever the fuck it is. And I am going to be swearing because a little bit of it does kind of irritate me, what I'm going to be saying. He does it with baby goats. Like, I understand. Ooh, they're cute. Oh, this. Oh, that. Yes, they're cute. They're cuddly. They're fuzzy. But that doesn't mean you do yoga around them. I mean, seriously. And, yeah, I mean, I, what is going on with people? First this, and then, because I'm recording this a little bit after the time. This is around, I don't say it until episode 18 of, uh, yeah, I don't talk about it until episode 18 of, Seven Days to Die, um, my father actually, pa my biological father actually passed away, um, about, for me now recording this, it would be about two weeks ago. And it's still fairly new for me, and a lot of people talk to me about, like, oh, so what's it like, what's it like, what's it like, oh, you haven't seen a man so long, what's it like, what's it like, what's it like, I mean... And my mom's the same way, because she divorced a man. It's not that we're depressed. We are sad, yes. We are very sad because, technically, he was still my father, and he was still my mom's ex-husband. I mean, yeah, it. he was a big part of our lives. Without him, I wouldn't be here. And that's how she sees it. Like, he, she got two beautiful kids. I don't know what she's talking about by that. But she got two beautiful kids out of a marriage with him. And that's very nice and all that. But also, she says, I have to at least remember, he is my father. Therefore, it doesn't matter how what I think of him or how I feel of him as a man, I have to respect him as my father. And I actually found out a lot of fun, a lot of nice things. One, I haven't, I didn't get to see or speak to my father in 15 years. Very sad, yes. And I thought he just put me in the, on the back burner like, oh, I don't have a son. Oh, my kids, uh, yeah, I don't talk to my kids. Apparently, when they cleared out his apartment, he had a picture of me and my sister next to his bed and I found out from my aunt aunt that day that he didn't know how to be a dad to two small kids because he had a first marriage where she, his first kid was like 12 years old like he didn't exactly have to raise her and it's I wish he would have tried to get hold of me. Because, yeah, I would have been mad. Of course I was going to be mad. But the thing is... If you love someone... Yeah, let them be mad. Let them hoot. Let them holler. But at the end of the day, if... If they love you, they will put up with you. I mean... It would have been like... I could blow up at him. I could say all these things, but at the end of the day, I'd still be like, okay, yeah, I blew. You fucked up as a dad. How do we get through this stuff now? It's been 15 years. I don't know anything about you. You don't know anything about me. 
and I try to reconnect with him, but now that's impossible. So, from a stepkid to any other kid whose father is not in their life and is actually trying to come back for an honest reason, or you are holding some kind of grudge against your father when he's trying, I will say this, give him a shot, help them out, because sooner or later you guys are going to be in my shoes. You're not going to have a father. He'll be gone, and all the things you wanted to say, all the questions you wanted to ask, everything like that, it's it's going to be gone. They will not be around. And some people who hear my story like, oh, I hadn't seen my father in 15 years. Oh, he owed me and my sister about 50 grand in child support after he and my mom divorced. They hear that and just like, ooh, he was a bad man. He, I, I see why you wouldn't be, why you would be happy to see him gone. I'm not happy and I'm not completely sad. It's, it's hard to describe. Because, like I said, yes, he was my father, and I'm sad that my father is gone, but it's a little bit... I was always afraid of becoming him. And now that he's gone, it makes me feel like, okay, now I can be me. He's gone. I don't have to worry about ha becoming him because I will not... No one will ever know who he is. And... Yeah, but, and the stupid thing is, and the reason I'm bringing all this up when I was talking about stupid people, my father wore a wooden cross every day, apparently, before he died. And out of the kindness of my heart, yes, I would lo love to have, wa have it, but I told my aunt, who visited him regularly, and I recently got back in contact with, hey... My sister is very heartbroken that she never, that she, her, her daughter, my niece, is never going to get to see her grandfather. Never going to meet him. Please give it to her so she has something of her grandfather. My aunt says, okay. My sister takes a wooden, takes the wooden cross home. Then she calls me about a week later. About... The other day from when I'm talking to you guys. And she says she was talking. Cause, and my father was homeless for a little while. Because he said, and I quote, I am not paying that bitch child support. If she wants to raise those kids, those damn kids by herself, she can pay for those damn kids by herself. And decided to be homeless, not get a job or anything. And apparently, my sister got hold of some of her friends, his friends, and said, Oh, yes, I got Jim's cross. I got that for my niece, and she's taking it. One, that kind of pisses me off, because I said that was for my niece. Two, she then go turns around... And says, well, his friends who apparently knew him very well said that this was not the cross. This was not his cross. He didn't have a wooden cross. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, but you still have a cross that he used to wear. Aunt Barb said that that was his. That was his. And my sister is turning around going, well, it's not the one I was told. Apparently he had a gold chain one. Apparently this, apparently that. No. I know that kind of, I know that kind of person. And I know my sister isn't that kind of person, but it still pisses me off to no fucking end. One, she's taking something I made sure was going to go to my niece. My father's granddaughter. His only granddaughter at the moment and my sister's taking it my sister took it it was it was for my niece yes my niece is only two and my sister's taking it I completely understand that Selena's taking it to make sure oh it's this person it's my niece's I mean it's her daughter's but I'll wear it for right now if she hangs on to it when my niece gets older I am telling her flat out I am telling her flat out.
That belongs to my niece. Give it to her now. Because if it was my way, the way I wanted it, I would have given it to my niece immediately. But Selena took it being her mom. So, stupid people. My sister wanted to be a grubber, pretty much. That's what we call them. People who would go, oh, but this isn't the one I want. This isn't the one I want. After she found out that there was a gold chain and that my Aunt Barb probably kept it. I was pretty much, fuck it. Aunt Barb has one, you have one. Now you have a reason to go see her more often. Now you have a reason to be her niece again. Not to, for her, my sister apparently, to get this one little bit of anything that belonged to Jim. My father, I actually call him by his first name. But also because, oh, I feel entitled to it. No, you were entitled to the wooden cross. That's what I said you could have. Plus, you want to be that person who is trying to get something that belonged to my aunt, his sister, and you want to take it away from her? That's cold. I don't, I don't care who you are. That's fucking cold, dude. Now, I say idiot because, again, she already got the cross. And she's like, but this isn't the one I want. This isn't the one I want. Idiot, you have it. You have something. The only thing I have is a fucking ring. And, by the way, guys, I'm not on the verge of tears. I'm actually very gassy from eating dinner. <clears throat> Do not mix gluten-free tortillas and... Mm. Month old cheese that's still good. Ugh. It's giving me bad gas. But yeah, my we we told Selena it's a wooden cross. She expected oh well, this cross, this kind, this kind, this no. Don't be a fucking idiot, don't be a grubber. You got it. That's it. Let it go. And I know she's not going to. And it's the dumbest fucking thing in the world. Now, the third dumbest fucking thing, and just because we're out of that holiday season, I, I, let me look at my calendar. Okay, this week was episode 53. So yeah, we're in the we're in the first week, so before I forget, Happy New Year's, everybody. But, that, why on God's green earth are you people get by stinking... Christmas carols that have been around since since God God damn since my parents were kids since my grandparents were kids back when people actually had some fucking balls when people could actually go up and say hey you're gay hey you're an ass and everyone went away happy everyone went away yeah, I was being I was being a dick and the other guy goes oh yeah I'm homosexual I mean Back then, it was no one cared. Or, sorry, the normal people didn't fucking care. And I say normal people because if you're that idiot that gets offended because, oh, there's two gay guys kissing in a bar. <clears throat> Guess what? They have the obligation and they have the right to do that. It's not, oh, I say they can't kiss around me. What the hell? No, you can't do that. Now, that being said, back my mom, my grandmother and my mom already said that. Back then, you could call someone out. You could say, hey, you're this. And the other person would be like, yeah, I am. Now, everything is, hey, you're this. I'm offended. I'm suing you. I mean, oh my fucking God. Just last night, I went on YouTube. Uh, not you I keep talking about YouTube because I'm recording this for YouTube. I was on Facebook, and I saw this ad. No shit. No fucking shit. Saying that people want to make Santa a uh, gender neutral character. I believe that the historical like thing about Santa and the lore behind him is he lives in the North Pole with his wife who helps him make toys. Huh. A, a female Santa. So we will call her... Mrs. Claus? Hmm. 
if you want, and you want to make a feminist Santa, guess what? All you gotta do, make Mrs. Claus more active other than working in the workshop like the elves. I mean, it's not that fucking hard to freaking realize this shit. And I'm going on a rant here because it is so idiotic now. Because of how many people just want to see their name out there. Like, oh, I'm offended. Put me down, put me down, put me down, put me down. Oh, I want to be in the air. No, 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 no. Okay, do this, do this, do this, do this. It's stupid. It's irritating. Because everyone knows that that is, should not be offensive to that person. In the great words of a comedian, Brad Williams, I agree with him when he says, the people that get offended for other people for no fucking reason other than being offended, you are fucking dumbasses and can go fuck off. Like, seriously, unless you have a family member, a kid, a mother, something, don't be like, oh, that offends me. Oh, like this. If I make a joke saying, well, my fat ass can't fit in there, and someone types in there, that's offensive to fat people. And I'm going, oh, I'm sorry. Are you are you overweight? No. Oh, you have a family member. You have a parent or family member who's overweight. No. Oh, you have kids who are facing obesity. No. Then why the fuck are you offended? It's not affecting you in any fucking way. You're just doing this so, to to be offended, and. I know there are people out there that actually go out of their way to look and find stupid shit like this so that they can be offended. Yeah, people actually go out to look around and be offended by this shit. And it's so stupid, and I don't know why people would want to do this. I mean, unless you want to be those people that just love to be offended, it's kind of stupid. Seriously. I mean, in what situation do you need to be offended? Exactly. No one can bring up one. The only time when you should be offended is when someone actually offends you. Like, say, you're a black gentleman, and someone walks in and goes, Look at that N-word guy! Then be offended, because technically I grew up in the black neighborhood. I grew up in the ghetto of Beloit. Wisconsin, one of the dangerous cities of Wisconsin, and I think of the country, and I understand you don't say that shit. It's very disrespectful, one. Two, we have not earned the right to say that word. They have gone through so many hardships, Jim Crow laws and all that shit. White people? No. Unless you're given permission, you don't say that shit. Especially to some random guy. And... I, and I'm going to be bringing this guy in all the time because he is an awesome comedian. He's very open-minded. He says that in his specials, you can look him up on YouTube. <sighs> Sorry. He's actually very hilarious, and he, he's very open. Like, if he makes a joke, he makes a joke that does not fit to him. Ow, I have one of his, com uh, I have a few of his uh, stand-ups on my iPod. Yes, I still have an iPod in 2018. Shocking. Sorry, 2019. Shocking. But the thing is, he'll make all kinds of jokes. Not to be offensive, they're to be funny. What is more hilarious than being able to laugh at oneself and the stereotypes of your gender? I mean, look at me. I'm a fat white guy. I mean, the jokes some people can make. And... Here's the sad thing. White people are the only people that are really like, oh, we can't say that stuff. That's offensive. You'll see a black kid say the same damn joke, and it's against the white population or against the Mexican population or against the Asian population. The jokes were invented to make everyone laugh. They weren't supposed to be, oh, that's offensive. It's not supposed to be that way. People take it that way, and that's completely understandable. That's your right. Your that doesn't fly with you. Just say, "Hey, that I don't, I don't like that kind of joke," and just walk away. It doesn't affect you if you walk away. But so many people nowadays are just, "Oh, that's offensive. I'm suing you." We are. I think America is like 
Number two, number one, the most so happy country in the world. How sad is that? How fucking sad that we have become one of the so happy. We have become the so happy country because. Oh. Oof. Sorry, excuse me, because, oh, that's offensive to me. Oh, no, that, that hurts my feelings. Oh, this, oh, that. That's fucking stupid. We're being fucking stupid. I know how we were raised. We were raised in the same generation. Get your head out of your ass and get over yourself. Seriously. Because I have yet to meet anyone that really gives a fuck if someone says deck the halls with balls of holly, fa la 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 la. Now we down our gay apparel. Apparently, people are getting so worked up over that when that's been around since my grandmother was around and she's going on 80. I mean, do you know what that means, gay apparel? We don our gay apparel? Means we don our happy clothes. The fuck you... Gay has never meant just homosexual. Y'all hijacked that word. Y'all took that word. It's not just that word. Gay in the dictionary can mean two things now. Thanks to you jackasses who took it. Gay also meant happy, joyful. Just like... And I'm not going to say the word. N-word. Lee. Means to act stupid. And I'm not going to say it because I know there's going to be someone down in the comments or later on when, this, when I actually get view more like high views, people are going to bust onto this, see this, and be like, oh wow, he was a jackass back then. And he said the N-word. I'm not doing that shit. You're not getting me with that. I'm saying this. It's stupid nowadays how we've all become these cookie cutter, snowflake, dumb fucks. Who would rather be offended than try and figure out the problems. Where we would rather be racist in situations and be a bigot about them than try and be equal with everyone. Oh, why am I so tired? Oh. To me it's stupid as hell. Because no one is made... I don't care what the polit politicians are saying about everything. Here's the funny thing. They say, oh, I follow the Bible. Oh, believe in the Bible. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Here's something funny. They say homosexuality will pretty much destabilize us because, oh, it's against the Bible. It's against the Bible. Yes, it was against, it is against the Bible, but here's the funny thing. I believe it was in Rome or Greece, you know, where most of our democracy was made. Yeah. They used to fuck each other like it was nobody's business. And that's how they sealed deals, made agreements. You had guys screwing guys, you had girls screwing girls. Hell, back then, if a woman screwed anyone other than their husband while they were married, she was, I believe, stoned to death while a guy could go around and screw as many women as he needed and as many women as he wanted, and he, as many guys, as long as he was doing agreements. How fucked up is that? Yet, here we have politicians saying, oh no, you can't do that, you can't do abortion, you can't do this, oh, you can't smoke weed, you can't do this. Last time I checked, we're in, the in America, the country, uh, uh, we're in the... Land of the free. I understand weed. It's a dangerous thing when you're driving. Because it alters your perspective like alcohol. But here's the funny thing. Get your head out your ass. Weed could be something big for us as a country. Patent it. Sell it like cigarettes to the public. Tax it like cigarettes. End, ev end everything. If you don't... I mean, look what they're doing over in Colorado. Weed stores, I've found out, and mark me if I'm wrong, have saves safe underneath their stores and giant vaults to hold the money because legally, they apparently cannot put their money that they use, that they earned from selling weed into a bank. How... 
dude, if your air bank is in need of money, no one's really gonna give, give a shit. And I know there has to be that one guy that's like, oh no, I got this through other means, and puts it in the bank anyway. It's, it, it's, to me, it's like, things can be so much easier, and people are just making it so much more complicated. And people have to see it like, I don't understand why in some countries, in some, yeah, in some countries, you can do pretty much anything you want. Excuse me. Like in Japan, you want to get up to the, up to the roof of a building? You can go up there as long as you tell somebody, hey, I'm going up to the roof. Anyone can go. Tourist, anything. Here in America, we can't do that. In other countries, most of our shit, the sugary drinks, the Gatorade and all that, it's not allowed. Because it's deemed unhealthy. Yet here we are, drinking it down and swilling it like it's going out. Frickin' style. I don't get this. Why are we, in other countries, stupid, called stupid when... When, actually, those people are... Or we're calling them stupid when... We're actually the idiots who are putting this shit in our body, who are passing all these stupid laws which make other people happy, and making it harder for people to do certain things. I mean, come the fuck on. I can't wait. I, I want to be the president one day just to fix half this shit. God damn. I mean, like, in Wisconsin, we don't have toll, like... You know how you have to pay a uh, toll to get into, like, say, Chicago? You have all the tolls to pay, or... Yeah, or you have to pay... I don't know what they're, they're tolls or something like that. Either way. But you have to pay to get through. Wisconsin doesn't have that. Anyone wants to come in? Come right on in. You want to go down to Chicago? Better bring some fucking money. How sad is that? We could... We have we don't have enough to fix our freaking roads. Yet yeah, here we are going across the border just to go to Illinois. Oh, you want to come in? All right, that'll be th three bucks. People are make going down there all the freaking time, and we're just like, okay, come on up here. We have beer. We're we're not gonna charge you for anything else other than the beer. It, it's stupid, and yet, and I thought thought this was hilarious. People are like, oh, Wisconsin's a fun state. Wisconsin's a stupid state. That's where you can go for a drink. It's not just that. We're not here just for that. I live in the town with the country's largest freshwater water wheel. That actually, if we could get it running, the owner has refused because people would litter on this property very heavily, would break in and, like, break stuff and do even more damage. If we could get that dang thing running, we could easily power this entire village just on that end with the revenue from people coming in to see it. As long as people stayed, like, clean and all that. It'd be very easy to make a revenue and all that. Like, my town, Fairwater, there's not anything here anymore. We used to have, like, a... A grocery store, a butcher, a men's store, a woman's store, a post office, a hardware store. After everything happened, now it's just a post office, two bars, a hardware store, and a feed store. And a daycare. And that's in excluding the gas station and a factory. I mean, if we could get like a grocery store here other than the gas station... This place actually might be able to pop up again on maps and all that. I mean, yeah, we're a farming community, but that doesn't mean we have to act like it. We could do something. Everyone's so freaking tired. And now as after the holidays, I mean, now I'm just going to be farming, a little bit of hunting, and yeah. That's another stupid fucking thing I learned. Apparently, before he, I mean, while he was in office, before uh, Evers took over, is about to take over, thank God. 
Scott Walker actually took away the whole you have to wait two weeks to get a gun. You, The law was actually passed years and years ago. Back, I believe, when Reagan was assaulted, almost assassinated, by a man with a, by a man with a gun, who had gone into the store, bought it, and immediately went to meet Reagan with it to kill him. That's why we have it, because yeah, you can order a gun that day, but you had to wait two weeks for it. And with all the idiots now who are shooting up schools and all that, if you get pissed off, it'd be very easy for a kid with couple hundred bucks to go get a Saturday night, Saturday night special and just go shooting people up very easily so why on God's green earth did Scott Walker do this also making it so you can now openly ca openly carry for our state is very good especially when like me I go out in the country a lot on walks um, I like to carry my knife because I can't get a pistol right now. I, I don't have enough cash. But I'm looking at getting one. I want to carry one because I walk out in the country a lot. I know there are coyotes out there. Like we got wolves. I've had wolves in my backyard. I, I feel, don't feel safe. And I'd rather have a gun on me than a knife. Because at knife I had to be very close to fight these things. And with a gun, I can keep my distance and get help. It... I don't understand why he took the way the two-week thing. I understand why he did open carry. Also, a lot of hunters like to carry a sidearm, and if they forget their sidearm on them, say they go into a convenience store, technically open carry. You can walk in. It's not against the law. Also, any knife, as long as it's an plain view like a gun it's uh, to me it's very irritating to see all these different rules that I was raised with as a kid and explain why these are proper why these are okay why these are correct and then have it turned around that no that's wrong or no that's offensive you can't say that oh no you had to be nice to everyone oh you said that Tiffany's red bow was nice. Well, that's mean and f sexist because what if she wanted to wear a blue bow? I mean, all that kind of crap. I mean, it used to be so much simpler. Now people are being idiots. I mean, look at me. I am spending. I'm going to work, coming home to do this as a hobby, which is me playing video games at the age of 23 and putting it up on YouTube, a website to watch videos. I mean, I understand that's the new norm for my generation, for most of my generation now, but still, that doesn't make it, that, that just makes it feel weirder, if anything, and it's hard to explain. And I know this audio is all over the map. It's going to be a high, low, high, really deep, and like that. It's, and, and that's one cool thing. I've now been, this is going to be my second year doing this. I'm happy about this because it makes it so a little bit easier. And I, I'm learning a few more things. Like when I do these videos where I record after the fact, I can record everything. And say, like on my other videos where the audio is really messed up and janky. Here it's dead on most of the time. Like right now, I'm under the water, mining down, trying to get this all. I just reached bedrock. And I'm mining back up the opposite way. This way, you guys actually get good audio. Other games, it's like this, okay? I'm coming back up right now. Okay, now I just hit bedrock. And I, I'm super off. And I still haven't been able to figure out how to fi fix that. And I'm wondering if that's like my trademark. Like, everything's shit, everything's shit, everything's shit, but his audio is crystal fucking clear. I'm like, oh my god, Tiffany. It's... 
And that's the other thing. I'm trying to get in the comedy this year. Like, I'm trying to lose weight. Right now, I'm at 265. I actually want to lose... I'm going to lose 80 pounds this year. I want to get back down to good weight. I want to get skinny again. Get my old, get my old body back from when I was doing weightlifting. Back when I actually looked pretty dang good. Back when my ex fiance actually said I was a hot mess just waiting for him. But, like, I, I'm thinking about getting back into it. With the old boxing thing I used to do and all the fighting I used to do. After Sarah, my ex fiance, passed away, which is now going on five years. Oh, shit. I let myself go. I got fat. I ate a lot of bad food for me. I started getting more lazy. It, it's time I get my head out of my ass and and start doing that. And that's what I think I'm gonna do this year. And that, which reminds me, I gotta do this because this is the new year. I always make a new year, uh, new year prediction. Right now, I'm at seven subscribers. I at least want to meet 12 this year. Yeah, I want to meet 12 subscribers. And... The fun thing, I also want to reach... 8,000 views. That's five more night. That's 5,000 I don't have. I want to reach 5,000. I need. I want to reach 8,000, and I want to get 10 subscribers. I want. I'm just going low because I make a ton of videos. I put my heart and soul into it. I have over a hundred videos, and I'm praying to God that this don't end for me. I hope people start to see these videos and start hammering them. I don't care if they're good comments. I don't care if they're bad. As long as you watch and put your heart into it, and like. Wow, this guy's actually trying so hard. Hey, play this game. Hey, play Saints Row. Hey, try No Man's Sky. Hey, do Subnautica for us. Hey, do this. Hey, do that. Hey, do this. Hey, do that. Hey, bring Beansy back. Because Beansy's actually been asking me to get him back in a video. I mean, we keep doing this. Me and Beansy, like, me and him just got Red Dead 2. I'm doing a Red... I'm spoiling this. I'm doing a Red Dead Let's Play... Like, I'm doing both of them. But right now, I'm just doing uh, one. That way, two can catch up. Because right now, we're only in the online beta. And when the online gets to its full thing, I want it to be good. Because I I do play a little GTA Five, but with the new arena, I have to keep getting money for that. And between doing the recordings and getting everything ready for because I go hunting in the game Red Dead 1 I go hunting an hour before because in Red Dead 1 you can just hunt 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 and put the skin and everything into a bag and I had to make a hunting list before the video so everything does get sorted out everything does get List it out, and I say, "Hey, I just went hunting." So the hunting list said, "So that's what we got t today." Before the video, and it, it's it's just to let you guys know, "Hey, I went out hunting. This is how I got all this stuff. I didn't just do something like and spawned it in. This is how I did it." And right now, you're gonna see you're seeing me go over to the furnace. I actually did something to the stairs here that it's actually gonna help me out later on. I actually put a storage unit in there. I'll show you guys in episode 85. Right now I'm just doing 84. Oh no, 80, 66, sorry. You'll see in six, episode 66 that I'm just really just working towards getting this shit working. That's all. I mean, like, I'm working hard. I'm. And now that we have pandas, we have pandas now. Everyone loves pandas. But, yeah, the, this episode and the next episode is just going to be us mining. I'm doing this just for the holiday. Like, Christmas is when I record the video. 
And right now is the, yeah, is the 19th of December. This is going to come up the week. Yeah, it's going to... I got one episode of uh, episode 16. I actually accidentally screwed up. And I put episode 16 up instead of 17. I mean, 17 instead of 16. So, that got messed up. And the other thing I did was... I made episode 18. Everything else... Nine, we're all the way up to episode 19 is uploaded and just ready to go. And there... The, Seven Days to Die is actually just getting things a little bit weirder because I'm recording ahead of time and sometimes I talk about what's going on like like I said episode 18 I talk about what happened with my dad and I say in the video yeah my dad died uh, last week and you can hear him very emotional with it and I'm which means let me do the math quick. This week was 50, 63, 16. Yeah, so next week you are going to hear me a little choked up talking about my father. Uh, about all this. And to me, it's, to me it's a very big thing. When, you're, when your father, your mother, someone very close to you passes. I feel like that's a big thing. So, yeah, um, and I, I got to have my little rant and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I don't think I get back over into my house around this time, but because um, I know we're coming up to the end of the episode, I just want you guys to know, thank you for an, aw for an awesome 2018. Let's hope we're going to have an awesome 2019. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting down below. I am going to be having a uh, so, uh, ceremony or a, I'm going to be putting more people in the cemetery soon. I haven't been able to because I've been working on other things, other videos, and actually working at the factory. So thank you all for watching. Remember, comment down below. Subscribe today, like, and hit that notification bell. And do not forget, thank you, and always remember, I can't say it enough, have fun playing in the dark. I will see you all in the next one. Have a very good night. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Minecraft. Um, Because of the holiday season... I am actually making these ahead of time. This episode and the next one. The uh, one after these two should be a little something different. And as you know from the beginning of...